Well, come back to Wario Land for uh, getting to level four of the Emerald Passage, which is uh, this place. Man, that started out as such a jaunty little tune, and it just kind of petered out. Yeah. <laughs> Your intro. It wasn't really intended to be a tune. I was just kind of <laughs> seeing where it took me. Wario would be proud. Your intros <laughs> give us all joy, Dan. Man, you can't really tell because of the YouTube compression, but like, I really like the art design of this level. Yeah. It just has a very engrossing, um... You know what? I'm not gonna use the forbidden A word. <laughs> ambience! It's okay. Yes, the Ambience. There's, that's here. a good one. Also really enjoyed the music in this level. Oh, nice. Although it's yeah. one of those songs where, like, it kind of subliminally reminds you of a different one. But I can't think of what it was. Uh -oh. You gotta hit the switch to escape. Oh no, there's yeah. a no escape! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Wario, you're trapped in here forever. <laughs> <laughs> just put a coin at the end of a hallway, and as soon as he picks it up, it just, like, closes that door behind him. <laughs> Oh my god, I just... Okay, so I listened to the music a little closer, and I remembered what it is. It kind of reminds me of, uh... S sorry, is the name of the song, like, In the Jungle, the Mighty Jungle? <laughs> Which yeah. I suppose is appropriate, but, like... It's the Lion... I think it's called The Lion Sleeps Tonight. The Lion Sleeps Tonight, there we go, sorry. This kind of sounds like if you ever played the original Earthworm Jim, the uh, the soft piano bits of the the hell level. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like that. The soft piano bits of the hell level. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. They're here. They're, I, mean, they're... I don't I don't doubt that it is, but just I don't know. It's just funny. That's a that that would be a fun game to play on this channel, however frustrating it may be. <laughs> the Talk Super Nintendo or the Genesis version? I mean, they're both the same. It's just the music that's different. <laughs> okay. Because I've heard, like, conflicting opinions on which one is better. It's 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 not an Aladdin situation. It's like yeah. a... Do, do I, do I want to play Assassin's Creed on Xbox or PS4 kind of... Okay. Kind of... Thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the... Like, like... If there are performance issues, it's probably, like, menial. But I'm, I'm there for that music, so I, I gotta get that Sony sound chip in me. Well, and that was when, like, the two... In the era where, like, the two competitor consoles had, like, vastly different hardware, too. Yeah. Ah, uh, those were the days. Because, like, you kind of had to have... For, for like, a PS2 versus an Xbox part of the same game, you kind of have to have an eye for, like, what the differences are going to be. Yeah. Unless it's Sonic Heroes, in which the PS2 port <laughs> is just garbage. <laughs> um, These alligators are giving you trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's yeah. not the alligators that are giving him trouble, it's the... It's, well, it's, it's just the platforms because of the alligators. Yeah. Do you remember if normal mode had this many alligators? Um, Joe? I don't think it did. <laughs> yeah, I did think so. Because I don't remember having nearly this much trouble with those platforming sections. Oh dear. Here we go again. <laughs> the handles bounce off your face! Yeah. Oh, the moon! So, so it sounds like being uh, Chunky Wario in this would not be a good I idea. Yeah. Sounds like you want to fly well, more. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but the thing about the power-ups in these games is that they all, they're all double-edged swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, like, in some situations they're helpful, and in others they are just really not good. Yeah, it just kind of depends on how the level's structured. Yeah. Like, if you're trying to go up, that balloon's really going to help you, but if you're trying to work your way yeah. down... If you're trying to go down, not so much. I was going to say, if he checks an apple at you and you try to, like, you want to go up, yeah. you're going to be here a while. Now, I assume you have some muscle memory for this, Dan, but because it was my first time, I had to go down that hole several times to get all the jewels. You have way too much <laughs> faith in my muscle memory. <laughs> well, it's, been most like, of them. Se it's been like seven years since I've played this. Oh, yeah. I didn't even remember that there were gems down there. Wow. See, at the beginning, I thought you were like, like, yeah, I got this, man. I got all these gems. No problem. This is giving me Mar yeah. Mario 2. And then I, think I, more, I think I more just have, like, uh, it baked into my mind, like, 
whenever I see those kinds of like collectible layouts or whatever, uh -huh. like I kind of know generally how they might go. Well, yeah, it's like, um... Except for here, where I accidentally pressed the directional button and just screwed myself over. Yeah, now you're gonna have to actually play this part. Oh, oh. no! Yeah. That's the goal Fortunately, there? Fortunately, there's a workaround. Oh, yeah, just get, just get shot. Yeah. Oh, no. You're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in- I'm trapped in a prison of my own making! God, for a second there, Wario looked very distressed. <laughs> you can never escape. You know, not like now, he looks pretty content, honestly. Oh god, oh god. So wait, was that the actual puzzle to get one of the, like, big green gems? No, this is for, um... I think this is just for a diamond. And I'll tell you, Dan, there are definitely not that many enemies in the easy or the normal mode. Yeah, I don't know if these like black shelled enemies are even in normal mode. God damn it! I keep forgetting about that rolling attack. That's how you get the yeah. CD. Yeah. Yep. Crap, man. You can you only? Can you only do the rolling attack on inclines? Yeah. Wario and Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Wario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. He just <laughs> he just needs a little just needs a little little ramp to get to get to full speed. That's all. And he gets like the metal version of all the the enemies. Cause don't, aren't those normally just have like these tiny little shells? Oh yeah. Are those called pokies? Yeah, or these are wide spinies. Yeah. yeah. Are th are those even supposed to be the same enemy? I doubt it. Because the I think like Wario you flip... just has his own enemies. Yeah, like you flip them over and they get all like. It almost looks like they have tentacles. Ugh. Oh, I think they're like feet. Or they're like, are they just like gelatinous creatures? I think they just have like four legs. Okay. They just wiggle around. It's just low resolution. Yeah. What, what's that? What's that? Uh, worm Pokemon that has a red shell. He's got yellow feet. Uh, Wiggler? No, he's a Gen 2 mon. Shuckle! Oh, Wormpole. Yeah, Wiggler mon. No, Wait, Wor Shuckle. Wormpole is Gen. Those, those, those things look like Shuckle. Shuckle! Oh, okay, yeah. Is he a yeah, worm or what is he? He's, he's Shuckle. <laughs> he's, he's one of those Pokemon that's just a monster. Sonic 3 and Shuckles. <laughs> Also, I don't know if I pointed it out yet, but I love how this game, as, as you probably know about me now, I like weird when games do weird stuff. Oh, oh no. Oops. Oh, no. Yeah, Dan, what were you Oops. thinking? Oops. But I like how the game, like, distorts audio so much. Uh-huh, like, yeah. Like, whenever you do the butt pound, it, like, warps the music while the screen shakes. Mm -hmm. Or when you're just ducking. Just the stuff that happens with Wario's voice. Yeah. Or, or they do a lot of like speed up and slow down with the music as well. Like when you're ducking, it yeah. um, the music like becomes slower. I guess to kind of match the action. Or like when you when when you hit the frog switch, it really speeds up. Am I right, lads? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like doesn't happen yeah, too I've often. Yeah, I've wasted so I a lot of time on this escape. You are wasting yeah. a lot of time. Oh my gosh. Like. <laughs> well, I remember getting out of here in plenty of time. Yeah, but I needed to go back for the treasures. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's uh, a prerequisite. This is one of those levels. Yeah, so this, when I played hard mode as a kid, oh, no. I was able to find, like, everything, but this is the one that I just could not figure out, and it's, it's over here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's because they pull, like, a little... They, they, sh they clearly show you where the, uh, like where you're supposed to go, so I'm like, all right, so I just need to, like, break this block somehow. Like, just clear this gap. So I never in a million years would have thought to break that wall over there to get what I needed to break yeah. the block. Yeah. So I literally went through the whole game and got everything except for this one gem piece. <laughs> and I'd just, like, sit down for hours trying to, like, comb through the whole level it's like, finding the gem piece. If you don't have that gem piece, can you not go on to the final boss? But you can't go on to the boss of this yeah. passage. Oh. I, just, I, just, I saw a little crack in the wall down there, so I'm like, gotta go back one more time. Uh-huh. Now, forgi forgive me if I'm 
mistaken here, but like I think that puzzle might be different on normal. Because I don't remember oh, having don't any think, trouble finding that. Yeah, I don't think there's a gem piece in there on normal. Or yeah. if there is, it's much easier to get. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the case. It's probably right out in the open. Wait. Yeah, this is where I just... I, I'm like, I'm gonna need to go back anyway. <laughs> also, can we take a moment to appreciate Wario's ladder climbing animation? It's just, it's just so him. There it is. Appreciate what about him? Yeah, this ladder help. climbing animation. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's got some swag to it. Oh yeah. Oh god, 30 seconds. Well, it's just kind of awkward looking. It's not even like, oh yeah, work at Wario. It's just <laughs> kind of like frantic and weird. Uh, dude, landing on those Pokemon yeah. full speed is, feels so good. <laughs> this game does a real good job with that flow. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm just like, forget about everything, I'm coming back here a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, you're gonna lose some treasure, dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the flow is no longer with me. No! no! Oh, what?! So yeah, this is what happens when you fail. <laughs> oh, you bleed treasure? Oh no, yep. I'm in a panic here. <laughs> Wario's muscles are made of garlic, but everything else is just coins. <laughs> Wario's, Wario's muscles are made of garlic, but his pockets are made of paper. <laughs> God, they bled you fast! Jesus. Yep. So we gotta go back for the key and for one gem. Yeah. Yep. Was that gem hiding behind that, like, tiny little crack that you found? Well, there was, like, three different things that I missed. <laughs> In two or three, I don't remember. Okay. But... Well, some of it's just treasure, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Dan, was that you just... It took to collect my thoughts. <laughs> there. Surely. I think I was debating whether to just, like, stop the episode there and start a new one, or start, like, a new recording, or... <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. I had a little fun it's like on one of those, here. one of those early Simpsons episodes where the characters, yeah, like, I'm... stare directly into the camera. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going to be baited another time by those gems. Nope. And this time. Yeah, I don't know how I managed to avoid that when I played this, but that's evil. <laughs> or maybe I didn't avoid it. It's the perfect trap for Wario. Mm. <laughs> I'm a rich! Oh no, <laughs> I must leave! <laughs> Let me guess, this is the last gem up here. Yeah. Yeah, see, this, in, in my playthrough, I didn't even come up here. Yeah. Hard mode, baby. Mm -hmm. So I forget, what does the different colors on the little, like, spear guys do? I forget. Um, so the blue ones are the lowest level. They're just kind of normal. Yeah. Yellow ones are a bit higher level. They, I think, move faster when they see you. And red ones are they move faster when they see you and also do like a spear spin that makes them invincible okay. every time they turn around yeah don't they um don't they give you different amounts of treasure also uh yeah you, the higher levels yeah the higher the level the more treasure you get yeah you showed that off in a previous part and they've been trying yeah. to oh oh no yeah I screwed it up so we're showing off a slightly different route here. Like, yeah, this is a shortcut to get to back to the beginning. Wait. If you uh, if you're good enough to <laughs> land the uh, really precise timing on the jump for the roll. Yeah. So now I've got a whole minute and ten seconds, but I'm gonna skip it because nice. spoilers. I <laughs> missed a few more jumps. Oh no! Platforming, the true enemy of any good Italian. Man. I'm really good at hitting the flow, like, with most of the platforms, but, like, those ones seem to be just perfectly desynced. You know, for a man of Wario's size, you gotta admire his, his leap. Yeah. He's pretty spry. All things considered. So I gotta ask... And that's all the levels. Yay! Are you gonna ask? Uh... So is there, like... Do you get something for beating each of the four pathways, like... 
Is there like a special like power up you get from each one? You get to beat the game. You get to- <laughs> That's it. You get the gift of yeah. progress. You have to beat the, all the pathways to get to the final boss. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of bosses, uh, next episode we'll get to the uh, most devilish of the game's bosses. Oh yes, I, I know the him well. Mini game room. Wait. And also the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time. Stay tuned.